Hi friends, welcome back again. This is Sushant Samlati. I am assistant professor in the electronics department at G.H. Raisoni Institute, Jalna. Today, we are going to introduce ourselves with the one type of transducer that is known as LVDT. Dear friends, the long form of this LVDT is linear, linear variable differential transform. So this is the long form for LVDT that linear variable differential transformer. Now why that name is given? The output of this LVDT is linear that's why it is known as that's why this linear is given here. It depends on the variation of the core in between that. So that's why this is variable. Why differential? That is because it depends on the differential between primary and secondary coil that's why differential and transformer means it transforms from a particular voltage to another voltage that's why transform so why this is known as transducer as we all know that transducer is an electronic device transducer is an electronic device which converts one form of energy into another form so LVDT is a transducer and which is known as a part of displacement transducer which is displacement transducer why because on given a displacement it will generate a particular amount of voltage which is in accordance with the displacement mean we can means we can say the displacement provided is directly proportional to the voltage generated displacement provided is directly proportional to the voltage generated now we will see how the LVDT actually works means working of LVDT before than that, we will see the construction of LVDT, how it looks like. So, we will see the inside of LVDT, how the primary winding, the core and the secondary windings are situated. So, like this, the primary winding is placed. And below there, a secondary winding. This winding is known as S1, this one is known as S2 and this one is known as P. This is primary winding and this is the secondary winding S1 and S2. So, for this LVDT, to run this LVDT, a primary AC volt excitation will be given to this primary winding. So, here the excitation is given. Looks like it's 
side. So depending on the movement of this ion core, the magnetic field generated in this and how much the distance it is having from this or from here. Depending on this distance, the corresponding AC voltage is generated. Now you may have a question that it is having the AC input and it is generating the AC output. So what is the use of it? So my dear friends, you must know that the converter is present there. The converter is present there. That we know as PSM. Phase sensitive modulator. So depending on that AC output, low AC output, it converts this phase sensitive modulator converts it to DC port or 4 to 20 million current of flow. So that converter is responsible to make that output which can be used further. Now, the question may come in your mind that how this happens. So, as I explained already, this happens on the principle of magnetism. Because the supply is in this primary coil and due to this, the induction happens due to the movement of this ion core and that will be responsible to generate the difference between the voltage in the excitation amongst this and that will be considered as an output here. And that output will be converted in form of photo milliamp or DC voltage. Now, where is the application of this LVDT? Where is the application of this LVDT? Suppose you want to detect when the rack is there, on that rack, different bottles are moving. This is the bottle. So here, the bar of LVDT means the iron core of LVDT is placed. And this water is moving in this direction. If you want to detect this, so what will happen here? This water will come across this iron core, which is situated here, and it will push it up a little bit. It will push this little bit when this water comes here. And this iron core, if connected like this, if connected like this, will move up. And the output will generate it, so we can detect the water. So, wherever the displacement is to be measured, wherever the displacement is to be measured and to be given to the other circuit or just to be measured. In both cases, we can use this LVDT, which is a type of displacement transmission. And it is linear. So that's why the graph, if you look at that, the graph form, which is the core movement, Versus the AC voltage. So the graph will form like like this, and this graph is linear. So this is the graph for LVDT. So that's why because of such functions, means either the direction the core moves. Depending on that, if it moves in one direction, we suppose in left direction, so this graph will be there. If right direction, then this graph will be there. So depending on the direction of the movement of the core, on the displacement of the core, this graph will be formed. So my dear friends, this is the introduction regarding the working of one displacement transducer, that is LVDT. I hope you have understood how the LVDT functions, how the working of LVDT happens, and where the LVDT, this displacement transducer, can be applicable. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching. Subscribe my YouTube channel. That is Easy Engineering by Sophia. Thank you so much.